what we want to cover in this video is entering all the information you need uh, into the tooth chart and the treatment plan in Open Dental for a new patient. Now, in addition to what I'm going to show you, you're also going to want to do a soft tissue exam. That's a separate video. This is primarily concerned with entering treatment and existing restorations with a new patient. So we got Donald Duck here, and the way I do the exam, I'm the doctor now, uh, I go through and take out the missing teeth first. So I'm going to say 1, 8, 9, 16, 17, and 32 are missing. So I'm going to go up to the Missing tab and just click on Missing. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. Number 16 is really not missing. That's okay, don't panic. All we got to do is click on Not Missing and it comes back. Okay, so I put the missing, I'm sorry, the existing missing teeth in there. And now I'm going to put some existing restorations. Now, I don't do this a lot. I put existing crowns, endos, bridges, things like that in there. But I don't routinely put fillings in because I'm doing photographs and I have x-rays. So I think that's actually better documentation. But let me show you just in case we wanted to put some existing restorations in there. I'm going to say 18 and 19 both have MOD composite, I'm sorry, MOD amalgams. Here's the amalgam button down here. Now this is kind of busy. These are your quick buttons because I think you should spend about 90% of your time with things that are already in here and quick buttons and go to these other things only as kind of a last resort. Okay, so I got those two teeth uh, selected. I'm going to say they have uh, MOD amalgams. Uh, I think number 30 has just got an MO amalgam. Okay, so you get the idea. Now keep in mind I've got this existing other selected down here to put in existing restorations. Now I'm going to go back and put the treatment plan in. And this is where the assistant or the hygienist or whoever is charting can really kind of kick back and take it easy once you get familiar with all these things. Because I think you can go a lot faster than the doctor. So I'm the doctor, and I'm looking here at number two, and I don't know. It looks like maybe there's something on the mesial. Maybe I ought to watch the mesial. And so you go over here to your watches. There's all your surfaces. And click on M, okay? And it puts a watch on there in kind of that mustard-colored yellow. You can have any color that you want in there, but I want to distinguish it from what I'm going to show you next and also from Carrie's. Okay, so number three, on the other hand, looks like it has a crack down the distal, right here. So here's my cracks. Okay, I'm just going to click on that. There we go. There's a crack down the distal. So I got a watch on the mesial of two and a crack down the distal of three. So number four, number four is kind of in bad shape. I want to do an MOD composite on number four. Boom. I just click on that. And then on number five, I'm going to do a DO. And the reason why you can get in here faster than the doctor can is because he or she's kind of going to decide what they're going to do with those teeth. And you're just kind of hovering over here waiting to click on the tooth and click on the restoration. So it should be very, very quick here. All right, let's move on here. Oh, Donald needs a bridge. He's walking around with no front teeth. Okay, so we're just going to select these teeth. Just like that, very fast, very easy, all four of those teeth. And we're going to go over, we can't use the quick buttons for this. We'll go down here to crowns and bridges. Now, what kind of a bridge would you like to do? We can do a, an all porcelain bridge or a porcelain to metal bridge. Okay, I think that'd be nice to do a porcelain bridge there. All porcelain, not porcelain fused to metal. So that's just one button, click on that. And look what it did. It put in the retainer, it put in the ponic. Here's the other retainer. And it put in a bridge seat with one single mouse click. That's pretty slick. Okay, so again, I'm looking at Perio now. I'm going to go back to my quick buttons. And uh, this patient's in pretty bad shape. Donald hadn't been to the dentist for a long while. And so I'm going to go over here. You can see these are hygiene, even though this is labeled amalgam down here. Once you kind of find your way around here, this should go pretty fast. I'm going to say, I think Donald needs four quadrants of root planing. So I'm just going to click on that guy four times. Okay, you can't see everything. It's up here, but it's all in there. Okay, now the quadrants aren't right. When you go in to actually do the treatment, okay, then it's going to prompt us for the quadrant. 
Okay, but right now we're just treatment planning. So that's a quick, easy way to get that information in there. I'm going to do an anterior composite. On number 23, I'm going to do a mesial. Okay, boom, that fast. That's why the assistant or the hygienist who's ever doing this charting can stay ahead of the doctor very easily. Your quick buttons may not look exactly like this, and it depends on how we set them up and so forth. But I like to fill this space with things that you use very frequently. For instance, if you don't use nitrous, you don't have nitrous in the office, then we should take that out of there. Okay? If you don't do sealants, then we should take that out of there. Hopefully you do do sealants, even if you don't have nitrous. So get familiar with these buttons so you can use the buttons whenever possible. And then we've got these other guys in there when you need them. Okay, now I could have put the root planning in here too, but it's faster from the quick buttons. Let's also let's look at endo. Because if I pick three teeth, I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to pick that one. So I've got an anterior, a bicuspid, and a molar. And I'm going to do an endo post and PFM on those teeth with one mouse click. Boom. It knows that this is an anterior tooth, and it did the anterior endo code. Okay, it knows this is a bicuspid and did the right code for that, and it knows this is a molar, and it did the correct code for that. If we go look here, we can see these things a little bit better. Okay, so very quick, very easy. By the way, this is a nice trick here. If you click on that guy once, it makes it bigger, and then it makes it go back the other way. So that's kind of a handy little thing to be able to do. So you've got other categories in here for extractions, crown and bridge I showed you and so forth, uh, exams and x-rays we kind of looked at briefly. You can set these up however you want them, but again, most of the time you should be spending it right in here very quickly putting in existing treatment.